So hopefully this won't be absolutely terrible and we'll look okay, hmm? My name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Vietnam Vegan and today we're in my office slash my wardrobe closet area. Basically all my clothes are here or in this thing and my vanity is like behind you and my desk is over there which you guys have seen I think in other videos. But yeah we're gonna do a what's in my bag video because I know y'all nosy uh, and I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted to see this and you're like yeah, I do. So I was like, all right, here it is. Here's my bag. Let's, I just, I guess we'll just get into it. So this is my mat nap bag. I don't know what it is. I ha I've had like shoulder purses or like totes in the past. And normally I like that cause it's like a big bucket of things that I can put my stuff in. But I found that I don't like having it on one shoulder. I don't like the, the lack of balance. Cause I have to like squish it on one side or the other and then my hair always gets cut. It's just like a whole thing. So I've uh, converted to backpacks. I just love backpacks. And I don't know what about this tiny little backpack, but I freaking love it. It's matte black and it has rose gold. That is my aesthetic. There's not a lot in here. I mean, there is, but there isn't. So, you know, it's a thing. So we're gonna start off in the front. So this is where I have this little like teddy bear bag and then it extends into a big bag. It's very adorable, I love it. And I just love that it wraps up, and it's actually, it's like surprisingly very spacious. There's a lot of stuff that can be held in here. Um, it's very good. So if you guys are wondering where I got this, I got this for free on one of those like uh, veg fests and it was like the ramen noodle people and they were like, here, spin to win a prize and I won this bag. So that lives in this little pocket here. There's not a lot more that can fit in there. Sometimes I have my fidget cube in there, but I don't know where it, usually I have a fidget cube in here um, cause I get really anxious sometimes and so I just need something to like fiddle with. So one of the things I always have in my bag is a water bottle. Now I normally have other size water bottles ever since I bought this bag. Most of my water bottles don't fit in this bag except for the glass ones that I have. And like they're not specifically water bottles, they're just like bottles that I got product in that are glass. They're like kind of heavy, but they're also like pretty breakable and like I don't know what she knew, but I'm just, I'm pretty clumsy, so I wanted something a little bit more durable and I wanted something that would keep my water clean, or not clean, cold. <laughs> I got this Swell bottle from Costco for like $25, I think. It does keep my water very cold and I very much enjoy it. I actually kind of bring this around with me all over the house because I just like having cold water drink out of and like waking up with cold water without going all the way downstairs. It's nice. The things in my bag are like, because it's so small, I have to be like really compact with like the way that I package, or not package, put things in there. There's, I mean, it is it is big, but it's also quite small. I like to have a lot of stuff in there and I organize it with these pouches. So I got this pouch, I think from like Chapters or Indigo or whatever they call it these days. It's like a bookstore that also has like house, house and lifestyle things. And inside this pouch, I put whatever lipstick I happen to be wearing that day, which is today I'm wearing Mercury Retrograde from NCLA. It's like this jelly bomb that adapts to the pH of your skin, I guess, and then turns into a fun color. So today I'm wearing like a lip liner, which is 951 from ColourPop, and then I just put this on top of it, and that's what was on my face today. So I usually have that in here, and I also have a lip balm, which goes on t like underneath it usually, but normally I don't have like a balm like this. I have like a lipstick, so this goes on first, then the lipstick, and then, you know, away we go. And then the last thing I have in here is my headphones. I just have like a pair of headphones that came with my phone a long time ago that I still have, because it's like really hard for me to find headphones that fit my ears, especially with earbuds, because I have little ear holes. And because I have a Pixel 3, I have no headphone jack, so I have a little dongle that goes on there. That just lives in there. The next thing I have is my wallet. On brand, this is a Matinat wallet. I had a different wallet, it was like a black one, but then I donated that one because it was like too big. I found that I would like hoard a lot of cards in it and it would just be like too bulky to fit in like any of my purses. Just making sure none of my things are popping out. So normally I don't have this many cards and receipts in here, but you know, life. So this is where my receipts go before I file them away for taxes. But you know, the past couple months have been a little wild, so I'm behind in my tax keeping stuff. It's just wallet things. You don't even see what's in my wallet. The next thing I have is my bullet journal. Um, you guys probably know that I have a bullet journal um, and I like to keep notes in it and sometimes I keep an agenda slash to-do list if I am good at it, but I'm usually not. Yeah, this is just like my notebook of like recipe development, to-do lists, general note taking for videos. Basically everything I would ever use to write down, I just put it in one space so that I don't lose stuff. I sometimes have fun doodles in here. 
Um, and usually I just have like lists and to-do lists that I don't usually follow, but you know, it's a thing. If you guys are interested in seeing more of my spreads or like what I do with my bullet journaling or my brush lettering or like how I do brush lettering, I have a an Instagram for my bullet journal slash also my plants, which you can see in the background. So if you wanna follow me on there and see more of that content, that's on there. I probably won't ever make videos on it because I just don't think I'm very good at it. Like I don't create like aesthetic spreads or anything like that. I just, it's very minimalist and very functional for me. And like, I like making it look pretty, but I don't put that much effort into it. I've been doing this thing where I hoard stickers um, and then I never use them and then they like go old and like stop being sticky and then I just like have them and I'm like I don't know what to do with these so I've been trying to like use up my stickers and I've been putting it on my bullet journal because I you know this makes it seem more fun and on the back I have a go vegan right meow a sticker from beat by beat and then the other thing that I have in my purse is another one of those like little pouches this is actually a pouch from my friend Venice she is a fellow vegan activist in Toronto and she volunteers for like a dog rescue sanctuary organization. I don't know exactly what it is. The profits go towards like rescuing dogs. So I bought this little pencil case thing that has a dog and hearts because like, come on. And I use it to hold my pens and pencils for my bullet journal. Um, I like it because it's like really thin, but it holds a decent amount of stuff. But inside I have like pens, markers, uh, a bullet clip for my bullet journal, a ruler, a pencil, basically stuff that I use for my bullet journal. It changes from like month to month depending on like what I'm, like what my theme is for my bullet journal. Normally it's actually not this full. I don't usually carry this many pens with it. This month apparently I brought all of the pens. And then normally I have like gum or something that like goes in this pocket and I also have this front pocket here that like my, I stick my phone in sometimes, but because it's a backpack and I want to be able to like have my stuff that I need right away accessible. If I ever do need to put my phone somewhere, it lives in this little pocket, which is actually really nice. Aside from that, that that's it. That's, that's all we got. I've been trying to do this thing where I like reset my bag every time I come home. So my bag like lives on this dresser every day and like I take out the receipts that I like shove in there, any garbage, and I like reset it so that like everything that I need goes back in there. I usually have hand cream, but I actually don't know where my hand cream is, so it's not in there right now, but that's okay. If I put my hand cream in there, I don't have my bullet journal in there. By default, this water bottle, my wallet, and this green pouch is always in there. In previous times, I would always bring like cutlery with me or a straw with me, but I have been trying to like reduce my eating out-ness, so I would find that bulky and redundant in my bag. So I don't usually carry that anymore. And I also used to carry like a napkin, like a tea towel in my bag. But again, I've been mostly staying at home and trying not to spend money outside. So not having that prepared keeps me deterred from like eating out sometimes, keyword sometimes. I know it's not like a lot, but I'm trying to be like really functional with what I have in my bag. And I used to carry like a lot of different things. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, comment down below. Do you keep a bag the same way or do you are you like the, the pack everything in a bag or are you precisely just a pockets person? In the winter, I don't usually carry a purse. I usually have like a little leaf wallet that I like put my cards in and my driver's license and I just like shove that in my, my like jacket because I hate having a purse and like a bulky coat because I live in Canada and it's cold here. So I find that I usually only wear purses when I'm not wearing a bulky winter jacket, which is like six months of the year. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this that is kind of random, but just me hanging out, chilling with you, doing what you guys want me to do when I ask you on Instagram. And by the way, if you guys want to participate in future video ideas or suggestions, um, follow me on Instagram, because I usually ask you guys what you guys want from me uh, in videos. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye. Hey, don't focus on Nugget, focus on me. Why does it see this as a face? That's so random. I have, oh my God. I had a hair that was like tickling my elbow and I thought it was a bug. <sighs> Currently we're dealing with bed bugs in our apartment slash our condo and I'm just like wigging out anytime something touches me, which is a lot apparently, especially if you have long hair like mine. So, you know, it's a time. Basically I was having like a really bad day and then I walk, is that a bed bug on the ceiling? Oh my God. What are you doing there? Good Lord, hold on.